What up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this intro short because I want to get straight to the video. Um, before we start though, I want to say next Friday is gonna be the live stream. Stay tuned if you want to check out more of what I got going on. Um, I'm gonna be working on Frankenstein again. I'm gonna try to finish that project, and I'm going to do a giveaway at the end because I want to give that sculpture away. So if you want to know how to enter, check out my Instagram, stay tuned. I'm going to post about it. I might post a video here too. So stay tuned here. Um, this series, I just want to say is going to be a in real time series, meaning I'm going to be posting updates rather than I'm going to finish the project and then post it section at a time or, you know, um, throughout a month you know every other week i'm gonna be posting it i'm gonna be posting it every weekend uh every friday every saturday meaning i'm gonna be working on it from monday to up until friday the day before i post it so everything you're seeing is like the most recent update of the project um unlike the scavenger the scavenger i had like a couple months to work on it once the entire suit was done then i started posting the videos but um what I'm pretty much saying is I'm out of content at this point, so I got to start fresh. Um, this video that you're seeing is the most recent update to the project. This is going to be part one of many because it's going to take me at least a few months to make this project. It's a very long project. It's a bit, very big sculpt. So just stay tuned if you want to see, you know, weekly updates on the project. I might be posting other stuff in between to give me a bigger gap. Um, in order to get farther ahead in the project so you guys can see a lot more progress every every time I post a, a Raptor um, update because it would kind of suck to see it the next week and it looks exactly the same. So I'm going to try to make headway with this project. I'm going to kind of try to get it done and make a lot of progress during the week. So every week something fresh. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot of stuff in between that. So other than that, this is going to be a great series. I'm really excited to start this series i love jurassic park so all the you fans out there that really love you know the raptors you know you'll really enjoy this series please consider subscribing uh don't forget to like this video and um with no more further interruption i'm gonna start this video and uh i'll see you all in the next one i'm not gonna be doing an outro so i'm gonna say my goodbyes here um yeah all right see you guys enjoy the video peace I know you guys are used to me commentating on my videos, but I think I'm only going to be doing it for this, for part one. Uh, the other videos is going to be just more of a time lapse of me sculpting it, so I kind of just want to shut my mouth and, you know, just have you guys enjoy the video without my annoying voice playing through most of it. But uh, for this first part, there's a lot I got to explain as far as what I'm doing. Uh, for example, right now, you see me graphing out uh, the foam core. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm making a template. This is going to be my template for sculpting it. It's going to help me, you know, get the right size so it's it's more accurate. Um, I'm using that little picture as reference. So I found the actual length of the real head, which is around 38 inches from snout to the back. Um, all I'm doing is measuring the little photograph. And I'm taking the 38 inches, dividing it by however long the photograph's head is. And from that, I can get the difference. Um, so all I have to do is measure out the photograph and whatever angles I need it, and then times it by the difference, and then I can scale it up using that. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm also adding the jaw, the eye, to kind of give me uh, placement for when I do the big one. It's just going to help me a lot along the way. So what I'm going to be doing is creating the base of what the clay is going to sit on. Because obviously if I made a big old solid clay sculpture, it would be too heavy. It would probably fall over, crack. So I need to make the skeleton of it. And I'm making it out of foam because it's lightweight. It fills in the material so I'm not using so much clay either. Um, what I'm doing is I'm kind of gluing this pipe to the foam before I cut it out. That's gonna be the support. I'm gonna be screwing this adapter onto 
a longer pipe which is going to hold up the whole sculpture which is just going to give me a more stable way of you know cutting out the foam i'm also using 808 as the glue um, all i did was just drill a hole and when you pour in the 808 it kind of creates a key for it so yeah so you saw the the tracing I did of the raptor head. I'm cutting it about an inch shorter because obviously the, the clay is going to replace that inch. If I cut it out the exact measurement and added clay over that, it would be way too big. So I gotta, you know, shave it down. So right now I'm using some sculpting tools to shave down the sides. I gotta shave down the width too. I gotta make sure that's within an inch. I'm going to be fiberglassing the foam to seal it all in, give like a more structural support. If I hit the fiberglass, well I'm screwed because I would have to go in and dremel out where I'm going to make those creases and it's just going to be mess and everywhere. So I just have to make sure it's better to scale it down rather than kind of be spot on because uh, that would just be a whole mess. So yeah, I'm just fiberglassing the whole thing, giving it a more structural support. And if you're wondering why it's getting dark, that's not a filter. I'm not doing a transaction. We literally did this in the afternoon and the sun was like setting by the minute. So it ends off with pitch black. There it is, the big old noodle head. Obviously it's not done. That's my structural support. That's what I'm going to be sculpting on. But now that I'm at this level, uh, hopefully by next Saturday when the next video comes out, part two, uh, you get to see a good portion of it done. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for next week.